Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and today I would like to do a commentary slash reaction video on why Angry Grandpa is banned from Walmart. And this video is actually hilarious. Well, the whole story is in this video. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and I'm not just doing any ordinary commentary video today slash reaction. I am doing this video to celebrate 300 subscribers because, believe it or not, I have just hit 300 subscribers. I had it yesterday, um, and I just want to say thank you for your support and helping me get 300 subscribers. I appreciate all of your support. And to celebrate 300 subscribers, these next couple days I will be doing commentary slash reaction videos. Because I have done three a couple weeks ago, but those were just on an ordinary day. They weren't to celebrate or anything. But anyways, on to the video. So a lot of you have been emailing me on both of the accounts. You've been asking me, why is Angry Grandpa banned from Walmart? So here's the story. There's actually multiple stories. Well, of course there's multiple stories because Angry Grandpa actually had bipolar disorder and that, and because of his anger, like a and temper and freakouts, etc., that's what caused them to get banned from almost every place. So, one of the stories has to do with one of the days Angry Grandpa went grocery shopping and he had this giant buggy just filled with just shit he didn't need. So, instead of the lady putting the bags in the buggy, she starts setting them on the floor. Big, mis big mistake to the woman who was working at the register. Because you, know, you should know how Angry Grandpa reacts to certain things. <laughs> and Angry Grandpa's already getting angry. He's... <sighs> so, he has to start putting them in the buggy himself. And as he's pulling himself uh, out of the store... Yeah, why, why did this woman make Angry Grandpa put all the stuff in the buggy himself? I mean, she's a cashier, so she should have helped him at least. But clearly she wasn't doing her job that day. <laughs> a loaf of bread falls on the ground and he steps on it as he's walking. This made him flip out. He reaches in the bag and picks up a jar of jelly and he throws it against the wall. <laughs> and it just sprays everywhere. Jelly and there's glass. And the, the door greeter, she's like, oh my god! Oh my and god! Thing, you know, the manager walks up. And the manager... <laughs> well, well to the lady who was working that day at the register. <laughs> Um, you should not have done that because the angry grandpa will literally fly into a rage. Sure, ask dad if he would leave the store. And that's when dad flips out because if you ask dad something like that, he's already not going to be happy. So after the manager asks dad to leave the store, dad walks up to the wall where the jelly is and starts rubbing his hand in it. <laughs> and grabs the bread and starts smearing a piece of the bread with the jelly and goes to eat it. Hey, motherfucker! Are you going to grab the goddamn jelly sandwich? Oh, my God. <laughs> Michael's impression of his father is just too hilarious. Same with other people. <laughs> and it knows that's word for word what he said. Now, the manager tells Dad he needs to leave the store. Dad still doesn't leave. And there's a lot of cars. Well, of course there's a lot of cars out there. Because that is South Carolina at its finest. Dad, instead, starts screaming about how it's because he's white. <laughs> it's because he's poor. And Obama this. Obama. And, and at this point, security walks up. And instead of walking Dad out the store, they walked him to the back to the other side of the store. Well, I can understand why the security walked Angry Grandpa out to the back of that store. Because they probably were thinking he was going to... Let me think. What's the correct word for it? The correct word for it is that the security was probably thinking that he was probably going to go knock over a shopping cart. Or do something that's kind of unnecessary. Store. The next story comes when Dad went to the tire center because he needed new tires on the van. He goes out there, and there's a guy walking out of the tire center as he's walking up. And Dad says, hey, I need to get some tires. <laughs> hey, I need to get some tires. <laughs> the guy, I was, I, the dude's attitude was rude. He looks at Dad, and he says, I'm on my break. I'm on my break. 
<laughs> well, clearly that guy was rude because he just wanted to go on his break. Clearly. Sorry, I'm fixing my camera because it's at a weird angle with, for some reason. So Dad proceeds to stalk the employee around the Walmart store. He's following him going, I'm on my break, motherfucker, I'm on my break, I'm on my break. And he won't stop. Security comes back. Well, to the employee who works at the tire center, that's what happens when, you, when you're when you rude to somebody, to somebody like your grandpa, because then he's just going to follow you around the store and imitate you. They already remember him. They said, you're I'm not even supposed to be here. They kick him out of the store. They say next time they're going to call the police. Now, there's been there's been other times he's tried to go in, and now they recognize him. He'll get into the store, and he starts shopping, but midways they'll come up to him and ask him to leave the store. He is not allowed in Walmart. Well, of course he wasn't allowed in Walmart. I mean, if you're banned from a place, why would you go back? Because you're just going to get kicked out anyways. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's another story to tell from a totally different Walmart. This story, Angry Grandpa walks in there and he goes to the deli section where they cut the meats and stuff and he goes and he orders about five or six pounds of roast beef. Wow, that's a lot of pounds actually for roast beef. Why would you need that many? Now five or six pounds didn't fit in one of those packages. So they put all of his pounds of roast beef in like three different, three different clear packages but only labeled one with a price tag. Why did you only label one with a price tag if you put them in three different packages? I can understand why they put them in three different packaging, because five or six pounds, like I said, is a lot. And the price tag was like $35. He was already pissed off about that. When he gets something that's too expensive, he always does the same thing. Huh. Goddamn. Goddamn. Goddamn roast beef. <laughs> so the roast beef was too expensive already for him. So we get to the register, and the lady doesn't see separate packaging markings on the packages and she goes she i'm gonna call management so i tried to be nice like, <laughs> okay his impression of the woman is too funny <laughs> i'm gonna call the manager like oh i'm so oh, man that's actually for one um they, they they wouldn't fit in three packages so they priced it for one she goes um i don't think you know what you're talking about <laughs> i don't think you know what you're talking about <laughs> Clearly that woman was probably having a bad day, which is why she was rude to him. <sighs> poor, poor, poor Michael, he was just trying to explain to the woman why there was only one price tag label. Dad Blue, he goes, let me tell you something, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker, I'm coming back, I did. He goes off on a minute tirade about how the roast beef was already too expensive <laughs> and now she's going to charge him more and how she's a fucking bitch and how she's on welfare and how Walmart must have hired her for the... Well, like I said earlier in this video, that's what happens. That's what happens when Angry Grandpa hears something that doesn't make sense. Like, he's just going to flip out. <laughs> Goodwill system. The Goodwill Push system. Push come to shove. Security came. With the of police. course they he did. He can't go inside Target. He can't go inside McDonald's. He can't go inside Papa John's fucking pizza. <laughs> and Angry Grandpa also cannot, could not go to Cece's Pizza. I have a, I have a list. I have a, I have a, sorry. I, I have a list on my phone of the places Angry Grandpa was banned from on my phone because it says it on the wiki, which I'm gonna read them off. Angry Grandpa was also banned from Cece's Pizza, Charlie Brown Seafoods on two different occasions. Sunoco Gas Station, which was near his old trailer, Nashicon, Food Lion Grocery Store, Artistic Ink Tattoo Parlor, and Shoney's, which, um, which there's actually a video on why Angry Grandpa got banned from CeCe's and why he got banned from Shoney's, and then the Tattoo Parlor, and, and like Michael said, there's multiple stories why he got banned from places. He can't go anywhere anymore, because every time he goes, he starts shit. Well, of course, Angry Grandpa couldn't go anywhere, because he got banned from a lot of places because of his bipolar disorder and and his temper. There's been times where he's ran around the store screaming for somebody, because there's two registers with employees and 30 registers with nobody on it. Oh, no, 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 no,
Nobody wants my goddamn money! <laughs> and if you're wondering which place Angry Grandpa ran around the store screaming at, it was at one of the Walmarts he was banned from. <laughs> Angry Grandpa is not the kind of person you want walking into your store. And they've realized that, and now he's banned from almost everywhere. Of course, Angry Grandpa was not the type of person you would want going to your store. Which, of course, almost everybody knew that, because he was banned from almost everywhere. There's only a few places that he is still allowed inside, and frankly, I'm surprised he still is. I was surprised that Angry Grandpa was still allowed in a few places. Okay. This next part is actually funny. What I'm about to show. If I, what? Are you excited about your Christmas presents? You kiss my ass. <laughs> Walmart gift cards, buddy. I don't want no damn Walmart gift cards. <laughs> Just say, send me Walmart gift cards. Stick them up your ass. <laughs> Anybody send me a Walmart gift card, you're going to know about it. <laughs> Okay, so, what you saw in the end of the video was the reason why Angry Grandpa was not the kind of person you would want walking into your store. And it, oops, sorry, it's showing an advertisement. I apologize for that. But anyways, that's the end of the video. I will end my video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye.